Hey guys, how's it going? It's Alice. Welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be doing a review and wear test of the ColourPop No Filter Complexion. I have got their foundation, their concealer, and their setting powder. I'm already wearing it actually, so there you go. You can kind of see already what it looks like. Let's learn a little bit more about the foundation. Natural Matte Foundation, $12. They have sales all the time though. I actually purchased this when they were having like a 20% off sale. So it says here, developed for the selfie age, our buildable full coverage natural matte foundation delivers flawless looking skin from day to night. The oil-free lightweight formula blends smoothly and is easily customizable to create the coverage you want. Build up or sheer out, it was developed with innovative soft blurring pigments to deliver true color while looking and feeling natural. The lockable pump is easy to use and keeps your routine mess free. As always, 100% cruelty free and vegan. To go with it, I got the No Filter Matte Concealer, which is $6. I have the shade Fair 2. Instantly conceal, cover, correct, and contour with this long wearing full coverage natural matte concealer. The lightweight, blendable formula applies smoothly and seamlessly, covers dark circles, blemishes, redness, and discoloration with one swipe. The 100% cruel cruel <laughs> cruelty free cruelty free vegan formula is infused with marine extracts to hydrate and protect delicate under eyes, while the soft blurring pigment technology delivers a flawless complexion that lasts all day marine extracts and finally I got the no filter setting powder nine dollars I have the shade translucent it says here lock in makeup with our translucent weightless loose setting powder developed with ultra fine smooth powders to provide a long wearing soft focus matte finish without feeling heavier looking cakey always 100% cruelty free and vegan our formula was photo tested to never flash back giving you selfie ready skin in any light. So yeah, I tried uh, all three of these together and I'm enjoying it so far. It does look a little cakey. I think it's the concealer that's kind of cakey. Just it's really, my, my smile lines aren't looking super great. It looks a little cakey around my nose. As you can see, I've, I've really like gone ham with the highlight. So it doesn't look too matte anymore, but um, yeah, it doesn't feel dry. It doesn't feel sticky. The powder is enjoyable. For the halfway mark, I'm pleased. I'm pleased. We're starting off with the halfway mark in the intro just because I wanted to be able to give you guys a lot of info and at least let you know that the foundation doesn't suck at the beginning, you know, so you don't have to waste your time watching a whole video for like some shitty foundation. There will be a wear a demo so you can kind of see firsthand how everything applies, how it looks really close up on my skin, and then we're going to do wear tests and stuff. So without further ado, let's fucking do it. All right, so let's begin with the no filter foundation. I have two shades here. I've got Fair 5 and Fair 30. Nice little glass bottles with plastic squeezy caps. Ooh, liquidy. More liquidy than I thought it was going to be. That was Fair 5 right here. And there is Fair 30. Now it's cool that this foundation has so is so affordable and there are a lot of different uh, undertones and options so if you're not really sure what you are you could get more than one. Unfortunately Colourpop doesn't accept returns or exchanges so don't go crazy and buy a bunch and then think that you can return them because you're not going to be able to. I feel like I, ju I just want to mix both of them. I feel like Fair 30 is matching my face right now, but I tend to like my face to be a teensy bit lighter. And then if it oxidizes, whatever, I bought two, might as well mix them. Fair 5 is probably going to be too light unless it oxidizes like a lot. Ooh, primer. Bitch, I almost forgot. So I already spritzed my face with the Urban Decay Quick Fix and for primer just to fill in my pores this is the Tarte Poreless Face Primer. It looks like it's oxidizing a little bit on my hand over here on the edge it's already drying. I know you're not going to be able to see that on camera. I like to just spread the foundation all over with a brush first to get it all over my face you know 
quickly and efficiently. All right, I got my sponge. Let's pat this foundation in just to smooth out any brush strokes. If you like using a brush for your foundation, you could probably do so with this foundation. It is not the kind that stays, that's like super thin and like runny and you can see the brush strokes in it. Like I feel like it's just thick enough to kind of allow you to use a brush if you want. Okay, let me zoom you guys in so you can see my skin. Still wet. On my hand, it's even still wet. It says it's a matte foundation. I'm, I like that it's not like drying my face down, like drying the frick out of my face, you know? Um, but it is, yeah, it does still feel moist. Let's move on to concealer. I got three concealers, Fair Double Zero, which is the white one, Fair Two, which is a really, really light neutral undertone, I believe. And then I got medium dark 38 because I was hoping to be able to contour with that one. I'm really excited about the white one just because even if it doesn't work great for concealer, I feel like it'd be great to use for cutting the crease and things like that. Pretty excited about Fair 2. It's really light though. So I'm probably not going to be using the white, to be honest. Um, unless this, for some strange reason, is too dark for me. Let's pop some concealer on these under eyes, bitch. I'm gonna blend that in with a brush and then kind of do what we did with our foundation. Smooth out the breath, the brush, breath. Let's smooth out the brush strokes with a sponge after, but let's just stick to one side just in case it dries fast. Bada bing. One side versus the other. What do you guys think? It definitely brightened. I think I like it better with the sponge. All right, let's get a teensy bit more. I don't want to put too much concealer on to cover up the, you know, the foundation. I just want a little bit of highlighting. So here's the concealer on my face. I have not set anything. Last thing that we're gonna do, this looks this looks too warm for contour. In hindsight, it is a concealer, and since concealers are supposed, you know, it's supposed to be canceling out the bluish, purplish, grayish undertones of, you know, dark circles, concealer probably isn't gonna be good to contour with because it's always gonna be slightly warm. I'm just gonna contour with my milk. brush to blend it in and we'll see if it plays nice with the foundation. I forgot to comment on the coverage of the foundation. It is, it does seem to be full coverage and I'm enjoying that part a lot. Didn't have to do two coats at all. Totally not necessary. Can still obviously see my freckles because they're dark, but okay. Everything's looking good so far. The foundation worked really well with the contour stick. Let's go ahead and set this bitch. I have got the translucent no filter setting powder here. It's a really, really tiny little container. I'm so, like how much setting powder do you really need? This is probably a decent size, but I'm so used to like my other setting powders that are like in these huge things. So, does size matter? I'm just gonna lightly set I think that'll be the truest test. The concealer and foundation and powder has been kind of sitting on my face for a little bit because I just had to stop and eat. I'm enjoying it. it uh, it's not too dry, not too cakey. A little bit, like, I mean, it still looks like makeup. So I'm just gonna finish my face and then I'm gonna pop back and we'll do another check-in in a little bit. Okay guys, so it's been about maybe an hour or two since initial application. I finished my face and the shit has been sitting here for a little bit. The foundation feels good. It looks good for the most part. Oh, I might as well zoom y'all in again. Okay, so here's the face. 
feel like I have a cat hair. Mm. The only problem that I'm really having with the foundation is right there, my smile lines. It's caking up in those spots. I was able to blend that out really easily though. So that's cool. Sometimes, you know, uh, certain concealers or foundations, like once you powder it and it kind of settles down, if you try to touch it up or move it around at all, you're screwed. Like it's going to break apart and look a hot mess. Anyway, I'll check back in in a little bit and give you guys uh, some more updates. Hey guys, so I'm back. I think it's been a total of five or six hours since initial application. And I wish I could wear it for a full 10 or even eight, but I got a late start today and I am dead fucking tired right now. So, I'm gonna zoom you guys in. Don't mind my lip gloss. I think it helps a little bit having the light low so you can really see the texture and the shine and all that. What do I think of this complexion combo? The no filter foundation, concealer, and powder. Um, I think my face looks pretty good. It feels pretty good. It. I don't know if I would consider this like very matte, to be honest. It's getting kind of like oily, cakey, kind of on the side of my nose there, my forehead. I just, it's, it looks a little thick on my skin, I feel. So I guess final, final, final thoughts based on the last update here. I think that it's pretty good, pretty good. If this was really high-end, like expensive foundation that I paid, you know, 50 bucks for, 40 bucks, you know, another 40 bucks, something like that. Yeah, I'd probably expect it to perform a little bit better, but because it's very affordable and I got the right tones and it, it performed pretty decently for the five to six hours i'm pretty happy with it the concealer i actually i mean i enjoyed the concealer it, it's maybe looking a little dry but you, you know you guys tell me tell me what you think down in the comments below i think it looks pretty okay my forehead wrinkles are like really coming for coming for me today i don't know what the deal is but i just feel like maybe my, my face looks a little bit more wrinkly in real life with this complexion combo. Not sure which item is the culprit. Maybe it's just my face. But yeah, I hope you guys found this video helpful and I hope you enjoyed watching it and thank you so much for tuning in and I'll see you on my next one. Bye.